Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be putting together our New Year's Eve eye look. I have my face done and I am featuring Juvia's Place today. I have a lot of their products on my face, not sponsored, just love their products. I have their bronzer, I have their eye primer, I have their lipstick, and we will be using the Warrior II eyeshadow palette to create this smoky eye look. So if that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. This is the Warrior II palette from Juvia's Place. One of my favorites, as you can see, it is all matte. That is what we're gonna be doing today is an all matte smoky eye look. Nude lip, can't wait. I'm going in with a fluffy brush. This one is a Wayne Goss 19, and we are going to start with this shade right here called Yodit. It's a nice mid-tone brown. And we're gonna start just by building up this crease. And we want it to go a little bit higher because we want that black to fade into it. So as you can see, this is a stunning palette. I will try to list all the other things on my face, but I can tell you it's all affordable. I have the Revlon Matte Grip Primer on. Been enjoying that. I have the Oma by Sharon C foundation on. Juvia's Place Concealer. I don't know if I mentioned that. My blush is Juvia's Place. Bronzer is Juvia's Place. We are just going crazy with Juvia's Place today. I would like everything in their line. They are affordable. They are gorgeous. But my first love was their eyeshadow. It's been a while since I got into this. And it was time. So comment below, what are your plans for New Year's? Are you staying home? Are you going out? I have no plans. I just want to look nice. Now I'm going to go in with this Kufuru, which is a deeper brown. It kind of looks burgundy in the monitor, but it is a darker brown shade. And I'm going to go in with a smaller brush for that. I'm going to use my e.l.f. This is the small crease brush. I'm going to tap into that and go deeper in the crease. Yeah, we haven't gone out for New Year's in a long time. We get champagne. We have snackies. We watch Ryan Seacrest. And of course, watch the ball drop and go to bed very shortly after midnight. <laughs> life over 40, life of a parent, I don't know, you tell me. That looks gorgeous. I'm just deepening up that crease. Going in on the other side. I have a 15 year old that I'm sure will want to stay up with us. He is a freshman in high school. I actually have a video of him doing my makeup from a year ago and it's just amazing to see how much he's grown. I wonder if he would agree to do another one because <laughs> we had fun. I'll tell you what though, he is his father's son because I do not have the gentlest of hand and I thought he would be rough putting on the makeup and he was so gentle it was funny really really sweet video if you want to see and I let him completely control the colors and tried not to direct him very much to let him have full creative capability still just building up this dark shade in the crease because we want that black to blend and then I have a little one. My little one, my baby, is nine. And he is um, 
he has autism spectrum disorder. So life is a, it's, it's a, uh, how can I word this? It's an adventure. I often post on social media, adventures in autism, because he's fun. He is fun. I'm going to go into Yodit. Let me know if you have a special needs child. I often look for activities for him. He needs a lot of structure, and I am not the most structured mama in the world. But I'm working on it. Oh, these colors are just so beautiful. That's Yodit on the bottom. If you didn't notice, I did cheat and put a little bit of liner in my upper and bottom waterline. That's just the uh, Shop Miss A gel liner that's only a dollar. It's a pretty darn good eyeliner. I'll have my Shop Miss A video linked as well. So we've got a good base going that looks really nice. And if you didn't want to do a smoky eye, you could go in with a lighter shade. You could go in with that white if you wanted a pop, but very easy, easy to work with. And we will come back to this Walzana shade, but we are going to go in with a black base. And I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. It is new to me and I love it. For under the eye, I use this unit brush that I picked up from Beautylish. I love this as a pencil liner under the eye. And then I'm gonna use this flat brush here that I got from BoxyCharm. It's from a brand called Luna Magic. But I am going to put the smallest amount here on this flat brush and go in and build this up. I wanna see how far it'll go. I wanna go in light layers. but I did this the other day just to test it out and it worked out really, really well. I'm gonna come in with a little bit more. And this is just gonna build a nice base for that black shadow. Just going all the way across. Comment below, do you, uh, let me know, do you need, do you eat anything special on New Year's? My dad, I grew up with a German dad that liked to have pork and sauerkraut. So that's been a tradition for me. I like to have pork and sauerkraut with mashed potatoes and corn, but my mother who lives with me will she and I will be the only ones that eat it because my husband will not eat it and neither will the kids so it'll be a two meal kind of day that's okay I've heard about black eyed peas what do you how do you eat black eyed peas do you just warm them up and eat them let me know give me your recipes Somehow I have a can of black eyed peas in my cabinet. I don't know how they got there or what to do with them, but I have them. This eye is being difficult and it's watering a little bit. Let's cross our fingers that it doesn't affect the eye look. That looks pretty. I like it. So there is the base. And then what we'll do now is I'm gonna clean this brush Actually, I only used one side of it. I'm just gonna flip it over to the other side and I'm gonna go in with this Walzana shade and we're gonna pack this on and hope for no fallout because I've already done my base. And we're just basically setting. Oh, I'm using the gray shade. That Walzana is more of a gray, grayish brown. I need to go into this one, which is the Shawata. That's what I'm going to do. Gonna go back in. I'm 
I wondered why it wasn't as dark. There we go. Much darker. Shawata is what we needed. I'm just trying to be careful. I think the fallout is not happening. If not, we can clean it up and redo underneath the eyes. Not the end of the world. But uh, if you are recreating this look, I would suggest that you do your eyes first. It's always safer that way. Just for the sake of time, though, I did my face first for you guys. I was thinking about doing a, a live, like a get ready with me. Comment below if you would like to see something like that. I always try to keep my videos 20 minutes or less because I figure you guys are busy and you don't have a lot of time. But if you really enjoy that type of video, I mean, not all the time, just sometimes, let me know. And we can do that. Unedited. Real personality showing through. <laughs> that looks beautiful. It's nice and inky and pretty black. Let me find that crease brush that I used, which was the Wayne Goss 19. And I'm gonna go back into Yodit and just strengthen that crease a little bit. We want a nice blend. We're basically gonna do the steps again. So I'm going back into Yodit. I'm gonna go back into the e.l.f. brush and I'm gonna go into that Kufuru because that was the deeper shade because we want that black to really fade into those lighter shades of brown. So it's really just about taking your time and layering. I'm just going back and forth until I think the blend is nice. Kufuru again. Got a little more than I anticipated there. That's all right, we'll just blend. So we want that black to blend in. And if we have to, we'll take a very small brush and go into that black to make sure that that crease fades in and fades out. I am pretty darn happy with that. What's nice is there is a light shade in here. If you wanted, you could take that and you could brighten your inner corner with it. If you just wanted to put a little bit, if you just wanted a little bit of brightness in there, you could go in a teensy bit on the top of that brow bone. How's the blend? How's the blend? Is it good? Let me know. I wish we were live <laughs> so I could read the comments. Blend some more, Jen. Blend some more. They say if you ever think you're done blending, you're not. Blend, blend, blend until it is seamless. This is kind of unedited. You guys liking this? I'm wondering if we should darken that outer corner just a little bit. I'm going to take this pencil brush that I used on the underneath, and no need to wipe it, and I'm going to take some of that shawala and just put it a little bit on the edge here to bring it together. Marry those two outer corner edges. You can see that eye watering, but it hasn't messed up the look. Fingers are still crossed. Oh, so pretty. Loving it. Thank you, Juvia's Place. Let's go ahead and curl the lashes. We're going to use the Morphe Mascara. I have the Sweet Tea Lip Liner on my lips, so let's show some love to Morphe some more. This mascara is amazing. Hard to tell with the smoky eye. It really is. I 
only non-drugstore item being used today is this Blink Tubing Mascara. It is the only thing currently that I have tried that does not get underneath my eyes. So Blink, you are worth the money for me. I love it. What do you think? How is the look? Should we put the hair down? Here we go, hair is down. We are ready to ring in the new year. I will have all the products listed in the description box below. Super fun, I feel super sultry, sexy, and ready for 2022. I wish you health, love, happiness, peace, all the good things. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know you were here. I love you, and I will see you in my next video.